Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Renner's Warehouse Red Carpet here at the 2013 Twin Cities Film Fest, sponsored by the Showplace Icon Theater and the shops at the West End. I'm one of your hosts, Doug Sidney. Closing night. We have reached the closing night of our 2013 edition of the Twin Cities Film Fest. It has been a film-filled day of festivities and films. We've had feature films running all afternoon. We're culminating the evening tonight with two other feature films, followed by our, our awards gala. One of those films, Wild Blue, I'm privileged to be here with on the Renner's Warehouse red carpet, writer, director, producer, Josh Hope, and supporting actor, Kate Fralick. Thank you so much for being here today. It's, it, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. You have a very telling, very intriguing feature playing tonight, Wild Blue. Tell us about, now you were telling me off camera that you used not only a number of different locations for the film, but you filmed in a number of different states. This is a, it's a journey film, it's a, it's a, not necessarily a road trip film, but it's a film that is on the move, characters are on the move. Tell us about shooting in, in all those different locations and states. Sure, well we, when you don't have money, people tell you not to hit the road, so we did the exact opposite of that. And Good for you. Yeah, we just took the challenge. We really wanted to be on the road and take advantage of shooting in Oklahoma and the vast emptiness of it, and, and so we, that's what we started with. Was that planned out? Did you have that? Did you have those locations written out in your script? And, and Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I grew up in the northwest Oklahoma, which is a small town in the middle of nowhere, country town, so I really wanted to get back there and, and shoot and take advantage of the locations. So the landscape in which the film is, is, is shot has a lot to do with telling your story. Yeah, it does. Um, not just with the character, but with the whole theme of it. So it, was, it was a goal of ours. And you mentioned themes. We, again, were talking off camera about a lot of interesting themes that are in the film. You have, you have a main character who has been bounced around in, in foster care, and, he's, and I don't want to give away too much here. But he meets someone with a similar background, and they bond. What Were there specific themes that you wanted to touch on when you were writing, or while you were putting the script together, was it more of a story that, that kept layering itself and you wanted to continue telling the story? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think one thing it started with kind of a true story when my parents were foster parents in Oklahoma, and uh, you'd have these kids come through, and they get adopted every now and then. And, but once in a while, you'd see a, a child that never got adopted, and they turn 18, and they're just kind of released into the, into the wild. And so that's... That's the story that we wanted to tell, just the story of one such kid who, you know, he's released and then, you know, what do you do next? And how, how touching is that? It's, it's a story that relates directly to you, which served as your inspiration for it. Um, I, I, I like so many things about the film. We talked about, I was going to ask you about the wardrobing in the film. Those characters, they, th the things that they wear not only fit them as characters, but it really, it really ties in with, with what you, who, who they are. I know in, in the independent film world, you don't have a lot of different departments doing things. Talk about how that came to be, oh, or it's, Kate. <laughs> it's, it started it started early on. Um, uh, I had a lot of conversations with Caitlin Langan, who was my production and costume designer, and we talked about what the characters would wear, what they would look like, and I kind of gave them my insights. And then she took it to the to the actors with Kate and Maya Boudreau and Devin Archer, and just talked to them about what they thought their character would look like as well, and it all sort of evolved. So there was a plan, and that plan was executed, which doesn't always happen in the, again in the independent film world. Kate, you play a supporting role in the film. And the two of you have a very strong working relationship. Talk about working with Josh on this film and if you would ever work with him again. <laughs> and you can't lie because you know, you're right I'm right here. Uh, well, I would work with him again. We are going to be working together again. Interesting. <laughs> And um, no, it's it's really great experience working with Josh on set. This is actually the second time I worked with him. Um, I did a short with him previously, and um, it's just a really great, chill atmosphere on set. Very collaborative. Um, I've been on some sets where it's like, especially indies, where it's small budget. Everyone is really stressed and really rushed and really going crazy, which is you know you you manage, but it's not that way on Josh's sets. It's really chill and collaborative, which is great. You mentioned working together on your next film. You told me that there is some great news regarding Wild Blue, and relate that to your future work. Well, Wild Blue was picked up by Indie Flicks. It's streaming now. Congratulations. Um, thank you very much. And we've used that to gain some funding to shoot another film, and we kick off in a month shooting a film called Kind of Blue, starring Kate Fralick. So excited to work together. together. Fantastic. And I am hoping that we see that film at a future 
2014-15 Twin Cities Film Fest? Yeah, we'd love to come back. It's a great festival, great for filmmakers, and um, very filmmaker friendly. So if you have a film out there, I definitely recommend checking out Twin Cities. What a great plug. Thank you two so much for being here. We're going to send you into the theater to see your film. I can't wait to check it out as well. Here on the Renters Warehouse Red Carpet at the 2013 Twin Cities Film Fest, I'm Doug Sidney. We'll see you again. Enjoy the film. <laughs>